All right, good evening. It's Luke Thomas, QuakePrediction.com, here at the Earthquake Channel. It is 10, 12 p.m. in the evening on December 14th, Monday, December 14th, here in California. And we have the earthquake forecast for California and other parts of the world. We're going to start out with uh, earthquakes that have occurred during the next uh, 24 hours. Uh, we're going to start out with uh, California. We, have a, we had a 4.7 and a 4.2 earthquake up in uh, east central California near Mina, Nevada. We had a uh, 3.9 in Thessaly. We have, were thinking of a, a stronger earthquake and something st stronger still might occur in that area. Um, that's in uh, northern Greece, 3.9. 6.0 earthquake hit in our warning area in the 90% risk area in uh, northeast Chile. That was early this morning, 6.0. 3.9 earthquake hit in our 80% risk area in Dominican Republic. And we're looking for a more significant earthquake in southwest Dominican Republic uh, during the next 48 hours. 3.5 earthquake hit in our 80% risk area offshore uh, uh, Oregon, west of Oregon, and a 4.7 earthquake hit in southeast Turkey, and that was in the 80% risk area. You can check these maps out at quakeprediction.com. And now we're going to go over to uh, quakeprediction.com and check out the forecast maps for around the world. <clears throat> and we're going to start with California. And I am absolutely shocked that this uh, significant earthquake has not hit yet. Uh, I was expecting it to hit um, December 12th and 13th, and here it is uh, uh, the end of the 14th, and it still hasn't hit. So I am I'm, uh, shocked that it hasn't hit. However, I'm going to continue the warning through noon tomorrow. Uh, today, the 14th through noon on the 15th, I believe it'll hit tonight. Uh, the stronger earthquakes often delay 12 to 24 to 36 hours after the the main signal when it should have hit. So again, we're, we're still going for a 6.0 to 7.0 earthquake northwest of Los Angeles between Santa Maria and uh, Santa Barbara and northwest suburbs of uh, Los Angeles. We did get a, a 2.8 earthquake uh, just north of Fillmore, California, and I believe that is a foreshock. So that's the most likely spot for this earthquake to hit is uh, within 50 miles of Fillmore, California. All right, so that's the warning for California. That's continued until noon tomorrow for a strong earthquake northwest of uh, Los Angeles. Then if you look at the map uh, for the 15th into the 16th, uh, late in the 15th into the 16th, we have a very high risk down near the Salton Sea on the 16th of December. So that's another significant earthquake will hit down in the Salton Sea on the 16th. All right, let's go over to uh, the Alaska forecast. And the risk is building southwest of Kodiak uh, on the 15th, which is coming up tomorrow. And then on the 16th, a strong 5.5 uh, is likely right around the Kodiak area on December 16th. A large area of risk there. In uh, Santiago, Chile, and the Chile forecast, um, we did have that 6.0 earthquake in the warning area uh, this morning. And then the risk starts uh, moving off into Argentina on the 15th. And on the 16th, near La Serena, which is in central, west central uh, Greek, uh, Chile, uh, we could expect a uh, 4.0 to 4.5 in that area, the 70% risk area there on uh, West Central Chile on the uh, on the 16th of December. Over in Italy, we did get that 3. Point, uh, something 3.5, I think, it was yesterday up in that risk area, and uh, in northern Italy, and the risk begins to move off. Uh, off of Italy on the 15th, and kind of quiet around Italy after that. Let's look at the Japan forecast, and it looks like uh, the risk in the south begins to build 
on the 16th of December into the uh, Shizuoka area. So on December 16th, looking for a 4.0 to 4.5 in the Izu and Shizuoka area, just southwest of Tokyo. So about 80% risk there. Uh, and that should be on the 16th of December. Over in the Philippines, we have a, uh, a risk for a 5.5 earthquake just northeast of the Samar Island in East Central Philippines on the 15th. And then on the 16th, the risk moves to northwest of Manila, Manila, Philippines, just uh, 20 or 30 miles northwest of Manila. There's an 80% risk there where a, uh, a 4.0 to 5.0 earthquake uh, is possible on the 16th in uh, northwest of Manila, Philippines. Over in Greece, in Athens, Greece, in the country of Greece, uh, risk remains near Thessaly, where a 4.0 to 4.5 is still possible in that area. But the risk moves up on the 15th into uh, North Macedonia and North Albania, where a 4.5 is possible on the 15th. And then on the 16th, the risk moves in uh, southeast of Crete on the 16th of December. In Central America, still expecting a significant 5.0 larger uh, west of Managua this evening in uh, western portion of uh, Nicaragua. And then the, on the 15th, late in the 15th, the risk begins to uh, diminish across Nicaragua and begins to build into Guatemala and El Salvador on the 16th where a uh, risk builds to 80% where a 4.0 to 5.0 is likely on the 16th in Guatemala. All right, let's look at the Peruvian forecast, the Peru and Ecuador forecast. The risk on the 14th is still offshore uh, Western Ecuador, but on the 15th and 16th, a significant amount of risk begins to build into uh, Southwest of Lima, Peru. So on either December 15th or 16th, most likely on December 16th, we're expecting a significant 5.5 uh, or larger earthquake southwest of Lima, Peru. All right, over in Indonesia, uh, expecting a 5.5 in Nusa Tong Tongara, Nusa Tongara on the 15th and the 16th. A 5.5 is likely in that area. We're 95% uh, risk down in that area. And then on the 16th, there's an 80% offshore northern Sumatra and still high risk down in uh, Nusa Tonggara. It's hard to pronounce that. All right, in Taiwan, we have a 4.5 is likely northwest of Okinawa, Japan, which is in that chain of islands northeast of Taiwan. The 4.5 is like the northwest of Okinawa on the 15th. And then on the uh, 16th, expecting a, about a 5.0 earthquake southeast, southeast of um, Okinawa. All right, in uh, the Caribbean, uh, very interesting situation setting up uh, in southwest Dominican Republic and uh, building in 14th into the 15th, and then by the 16th, we could get a 5.0 as possible in the very southwest portion of Dominican Republic or the southeast portion of ha Haiti, Haiti, on uh, the 16th. So watch for that if you live in uh, southwest Dominican Republic. And in the Seattle, Washington forecast or the state of Washington, Oregon and Idaho, Still expecting, we did get that uh, quake off of Oregon 3.5, but still expecting a 3.0 to 4.0 near uh, Seattle or southwest of Portland today and tonight. And then we have a strange signals coming out of uh, central Montana, of all places. So a 5.0 is possible, not likely, but possible, in central Montana on December 16th. So watch watch for that. 
All right, we have one more forecast, and that is the forecast over in Turkey and Syria and Cyprus and northern Iraq. And uh, a 4.7 did hit in the 80 to 85% risk area there of southeast Turkey on the 15th. And then the risk moves to southern Syria on the 16th, where a 4.0 is possible in southern Syria on the 16th. Once again, let's do a review of California. We're looking for a uh, strong earthquake northwest of Los Angeles, most likely uh, within 50 to 75 miles of Fillmore, where they had a 2.8 earthquake uh, this morning. And uh, so we're looking for a strong earthquake still northwest of Los Angeles during the next 12 hours, most likely before noon tomorrow. And... Uh, then the risk shifts down into the the area around the Salton Sea, which is interesting. And I always get a little uh, concerned when uh, the risk is around the Salton Sea, because that's where the big one should occur eventually. So uh, looking for a significant earthquake on the 16th down near the Salton Sea, the 15th and the 16th. But a strong earthquake is likely now northwest of Los Angeles tonight into tomorrow morning. Everything is pointing toward that. We, it's uh, two days late already. Usually when it's that late, it's going to be a big earthquake. So watch for a big earthquake tonight northwest of Los Angeles. Be prepared for that. And then the risk shifts to uh, the Salton Sea on uh, late on the 15th into the 16th. Thank you very much, everybody, for your uh, support here at QuakePrediction.com and the Earthquake Channel. We really uh, appreciate your support and uh, subscribing over at YouTube, clicking on that button. And uh, thank you to the 140, almost 147,000 followers now at uh, on YouTube, uh, Twitter, and Facebook. Thank you very much, and uh, we will talk to you after the big earthquake coming northwest of L.A. We'll talk to you tomorrow about that. And stay safe, everybody, and God bless you. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you.